And first up at six tonight, we begin with breaking updates on oil tanks that are still on fire at a quarry. You may have seen and smelled the smoke rising over Rockville, Maryland today. Montgomery County fire officials immediately sent more than 75 firefighters to this scene right here along Piney Meeting House Road just before noon today. Our team also moved quickly to get over there. Sky 9 has been flying over that scene for hours now. And our Leslie Moreno has been monitoring things on the ground from a few blocks away. And this is as close as we can get to that scene, right, Leslie? Hey guys, good evening. Yeah, we are right by the quarry entrance. You can see uh, that lingering smoke here behind me just over my shoulder here. Our Sky 9 uh, here gives you a bigger and better picture of what crews have been dealing with here for the last seven hours or so. Uh, Montgomery fire officials saying the gas line has been shut off and the fire has been minimized. For the last hour here, crews have been using foam trucks to put out the remaining fire. And again, no danger to nearby homes, but officials are worried about the quality of air and have a warning for nearby residents. The plumes of smoke can be seen from miles away. I saw it 20 minutes ago, like in Potomac. I followed the smoke all the way over here. What did you think it was? Honestly, I thought it was a wildfire. Sky 9 in the air capturing the scene just as firefighters arrived. Montgomery County firefighters found three tanks on fire at FO Day Aggregate Industries on Piney Meeting House Road. Nearby residents worry the fire was getting too close. I just don't want this fire to spread because it would all this wooded area. Fire officials say there is no danger to the community and the wind is in our favor. The concern for neighbors tonight, the air quality. Fire officials say those tanks are filled with liquid asphalt and used motor oil. The fire also spreading to other nearby equipment. They might smell something, but we don't think it's out of concentration. At this point, uh, as far as our monitoring has indicated, it's not at a concentration where it's a health hazard, but just like a bad uh, pollution day, um, you know, any kind of smoke, uh, you know, limit your time outdoors, uh, maybe close your windows if you're concerned about that. If you have a health hazard, pre-existing condition, you know, just be aware of that to limit your time outdoors, essentially. The Maryland Department of Environment also on scene, keeping an eye on conditions. For now, crews have all the tools they need and a plan in place. We have a, a, a plan A, B, and C, some contingency plans in place to, uh, right now we're working with the uh, facility management uh, to uh, do our risk assessment on that to, you know, and go forward for the best course of action. And thankfully, no injuries to report tonight. Uh, no word right now on what exactly caused that fire, but we are expecting an update from fire officials here in the next five minutes, so be sure uh, to check back in with us. Guys? Yeah, thankfully, the good news right now is there is no major threat to anyone who is in the area right now. Leslie, thank you. All right, right now, let's get a little background on the company that owns that quarry. It's called the uh, FO Day Industries. We did a deep dive on its website earlier this afternoon. The company makes asphalt. It's been around since 1944, and it operates several other sites in Frederick, Forestville, and Waldorf. Now let's focus on concerns about air quality. It doesn't look good, right? But just a bit ago, we spoke with an expert from George Washington University. Dan Gobbler, who studies air pollution at GW, says the negative health impacts are low. That's what we'd like to hear. In fact, he says you'd probably be more affected by a diesel truck passing you on the sidewalk or while grilling with charcoal. The fire was likely emitting a bunch of things. The first thing um, is carbon dioxide and, wa and water, but those are not toxic directly to human health. But what most people were seeing was the black carbon that's coming directly from the from the smoke, those are the black black particles, and those are toxic to human health. In reality, this you know this. Oil is burned everywhere in, in our entire metropolitan area. You know, diesel fuel is probably very similar to what was burning. Um, so what, what, what was burning was very similar to what would come out of diesel engine if you're on, on the side of a highway. All right, stick with WUSA 9 for breaking updates on this massive fire, including the cause. If we learn anything before the end of this newscast, you know we will update you right here on TV. Otherwise, look for the latest on WUSA9.com.